Hello there, everyone. Don't you just wish that you could have all kinds of energy all day long? It really isn't the case, right? Now, in most of my videos, what I explain to you is the root cause of situations that you've got going on in your life that are unpleasant. When this comes to lack of energy, it means that there's some aspect of what you're doing or thinking or saying that is out of alignment with your actual desires and who you really are. And that's why you have a decrease in frequency. But all my other videos address the root cause. So today, I'm just going to give you a simple quick fix. If you're ever in a pinch, too much of a pinch to do a lot of this deep emotional work, and instead, you just need to raise your energy levels. So to begin with this exercise, it's going to be like a very, very short meditative practice. You're going to sit like I am, and then you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to begin to let your breath come and go naturally. As you inhale, you're going to see and feel that inhalation making you taller. So it's extending the spine. Feel free to tip your pelvis forward a little bit so that the root of your body is directly on the earth. Now, after you've done that, you can feel yourself settling into this practice, but also feel the expansion of the breath making you grow taller. I want you to imagine that here, underneath your navel, in the center of your abdomen, is a tiny little flame. If you have low energies, you can imagine this tiny little flame flickering like it barely has any energy. Now, I want you to imagine that you're sitting on top of a fuel source, almost like you are sitting on top of gasoline, but make it spiritual gasoline. As you breathe, I want you to imagine sucking this fuel up through a channel that goes straight from your bottom into your abdomen so that you're kind of sucking that fuel with every breath up to meet the flame. When you sense this fuel source reaching that flame, I want you to feel the flame ignite, just like a fire does when kerosene is added to it. Feel it fueling yourself. Now when you feel that, let's say, catalyzing reaction occur, I want you to bring your hands above your head with your palms facing upwards but overlapping like this. And it's at that moment that I want you to begin breathing in and out through your nose in a fast fashion for one minute. It's going to sound like sniffing, but before you do this, I want you to imagine making your belly really, really relaxed. So you're going to be breathing in and out fast while simultaneously imagining this flame growing bigger and bigger to take over your entire body. So it's going to go like this. You're going to do that for one minute. Keep in mind that the breath should be shallow, just at the tip of the nose. You want to continue this type of breathing at a comfortable pace and establish a steady rhythm. You will find that your stomach pulses on its own in rhythm to the breath. I want you to see this fire roaring through your entire body. Imagine the amount of energy that fire possesses. See it taking over your pelvis, your legs, your back, your spine, your organs, your shoulders, your arms, up into your neck and your face and your head. Once your body is completely lit up and you can feel this fire raging within you and filling you with all of that force and energy, I want you to bring your legs to a sprawled position like so, with the soles of your feet towards the floor. I want you to bring your elbows to your knees and your palms up towards the sky like this. You're going to let your breath Go back to a natural rhythm, in and out, slowly, as slow as feels comfortable to you, keeping your spine straight and your pelvis rocked forward. As you breathe naturally, you're just going to imagine or sense or feel for as long as you want to that fire roaring through your body, touching every tiny little cell, filling you with energy. As you're doing this, I want you to know in your mind that this energy that you have just been filled up with is now available to you to use during your day. Now, 
like I said before, spend as long as you want with this, but you don't need to do this exercise for very long. And when you're ready to come back, the difference between this little meditation that you've done and your typical meditation is that you're going to bring yourself back really, really fast. So the minute you feel ready to join the world again and come out of the focus on your internal world, you're going to open your eyes and as you do, imagine that fire spilling out your eyes. And as you animate yourself quite quickly, you're going to imagine that fuel source animating your movements. Now you have a choice. Either before you do that, you can leave that fire roaring and just continue on with your physical day-to-day -day activities, or you can consciously imagine turning that fire down to a flame, but a healthy flame, one that's not flickering, knowing that you have been filled up with all of that fuel so you can live off of it throughout the day. Fire is the great animator of life. It is all about forward movement. So try this exercise if you ever feel exhausted and see what it does to your energy levels. Have a good week.